Hey guys, what's up? This is Mustang Spoo Guy Extra, and uh, I was rummaging around through some old games that I had, and I stumbled across this. Gran Turismo 3. I never played when I was a kid. Ever. And I am very sad by that, because it is an incredible game. First, we're gonna do a time trial, because there's a few tracks I want to take a look at, because they're not available. I've not unlocked them yet. There's a long career mode. So, we can go to uh, Grand Valley in a race car, Swiss Alps. All of these tracks are pretty good. I will say that much, pretty good. We're gonna go to Tokyo though. You do have the option for a manual. I'm so, I, I, as you may know, I am awful in a manual transmission mode, so I'm not gonna be doing that. And uh, is there, I guess we're just gonna get her going then. Out here, okay, so we're starting off right off the bat in an S2000. And that's just. It's not the fastest vehicle at the end. I must say, this was made in. Oh, that's a turn. Turn? That's a turn? That's a wall. Oh. What? You can't crash? Well, wasn't that a great replay? Let's see the instant replay! Yeah, not paying attention to the map in the top right. And I decide, hey, you know, let's go falling into a wall. Bam! Well, that's disappointing. Okay, let's, let's try that again. Let's not hit the wall this time. It is a little weird driving with the X and the square. Haven't done that for a long time. I won't get to my point eventually. Game, not too bad looking. Alright, don't hit any walls. They don't want you to fail, I guess. Uh, game, considering this was made in 2001, I am quite impressed. They have some incredible cars in here. I will go through a brief highlight reel, if you will, of the cars at the um, auto show. None of which I have unlocked, because the campaign... Lots of vehicles away, you can unlock them by playing the campaign, which is fine. Um, but you can't play with them in free play, which is not fine. I don't like that at all. You don't get to experiment, drive them around for fun. Because, uh, there are some truly incredible cars that I may never get to drive. <laughs> so. Yeah, but let's just see if we can set a time here. Tokyo, not too bad. Racetrack, a little bit straight line speed oriented, I would say. For the uh, um, S2000, you're gonna break. I don't know where I'm going. And every single track in here, bar one, is completely made up. I think. I'm like 99%. Yeah, there's one real track. One real track. So, I must say, these fictional tracks pretty good. I do thoroughly enjoy. Oh, because I was just running around like, oh, how's this game? Uh, let's see, I haven't played in a while. It's very good. Break! Don't make me fail. Thank you. Would have been very unhappy there if the game had failed me. Would have been very, very unhappy. I guess it depends on how hard you collide. <laughs> that might also depend on it, whether you just outbreak yourself or not. Anyway, come across the line. We're just going to do one lap of this because the car's a little slow. A little less 2,000 here. Not the fastest thing on the planet. You can see the pit lanes over here. We even, though. We've been all over the place. The handling is rather floaty. Let's just say you have a lot of play in the steering wheel, essentially. Yeah. It's a good game. Not quite. Fourth. Okay, sure. Alright. Let's go on. Now, here's what I really like. You see, we have, we have an analyzing ability. You see, I'm going to be loading in the, uh, I'm going to grab, not my hand, still loading, it's processing my results. And now I can look at the graph, and you can see, I don't really care about this stuff, but the fact they have it in a game from 2001 is amazing. You can see the average speed we have, you can see our braking, our acceleration, how much we are on the throttle, which is our all on or all off because it's a button. You see the average speed, the sector time. That is amazing. Um, attention to detail. Because bear in mind, 
this was a year after this is this is the year after the first century the second century that is very impressive i do admit i mean look at this we're traveling around the course now you can see our average speed that is impressive all right another track we're going another track All right, we are here at Laguna Seca Raceway. Yes, a track I never thought I would see in a game in 2001. Cause, well, this is a great track. I was not expecting it in a in a game as old as me. And yet, here we are in a in a Dodge Viper concept race car, going around Laguna Seca in Gran Turismo 3. That is something that I was very impressed by. And I must say, um, it's a pretty good track. Pretty good track, I'm not gonna lie. If you have one race track you can put in your game as some actual, like, legitimate track, we're gonna say that's not a bad choice. Um, you can see we have the old Bosch logo. Does that just tell you how old this track is? <laughs> um, I will admit, it is a little, it is missing some things. Like, there's a tire bundle there now. And, uh, I would imagine that's because people are cutting corners. And you can see where they didn't have full licensing. We're coming up to the corkscrew now. Corkscrew is extreme as is as extreme as always. In fact, it might even be a little tamer on this game. Just slightly, not very much, but just slightly. And uh, Viper is handling this very well. I must say, the Viper is a great handling vehicle. Until you throw it off the track like, like an idiot. I'm gonna say I did that intentionally, so that I could um, drive again. I think that's what I'm gonna say. Yeah, that's that's something to do a second lap. Yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna say. All right, that's that's my uh, my editorial. Hit the brakes hard for the first ish corner, I guess. There's that little kink in the straightaway, but whatever. Uh, not really used to driving this. In a, in a tra I'm, I'm used to the track being narrower, I will be honest. This is a bit of a learning curve, and the handling is, uh, rather so you have a fair old bit of play in the, in the handling. Fair old bit of play. And the, I'm kind of glad they have ABS on, because, um, you have to go all on or all off, and there's no real room because it's not the triggers, and you, you did have the triggers, the triggers are the exact same thing. Because let's be fa let's face it, this is a plugged, this is a wired, oh! What was that? <laughs> I nearly rolled it off a curb. <laughs> that was not intentional. Ugh. That was terrifying. I think we have our thumbnail image though. <laughs> I'm not sure if you would roll cars on this game. That that would be interesting to find out. No! Not going to dirt. No, I want to complete this lap. Because I did an epic two-wheel moment. That was also very terrifying. You see, we do have two different cameras, but only two. And we can look behind us. Play for content does look weird, doesn't it? Again, fourth. I'm very consistent. So... Let's see. Let's get all this crap off the screen. Replay. Can I keep the lap time on? Can it off? Yes, off. There we go. So let's see what happened with the with the little viper over here. Let's see if the replay camera caught it because um that was that was scary. Um, but yeah, this game, I am thoroughly impressed with it. it. The graphics aren't good, however, considering the game is older than, G than GTA San Andreas, which is another incredibly old game, it's what? Yeah, 16 years old, this game, so. That is mighty good going from a game that old. So, we're coming, it's, it was right after, it was right on, in fact, it was on the course through. That is not a place you want to be going two wheels. I just realized that we were heading on to the corkscrew with that two-wheel moment. You do not want to go on the corkscrew with two wheels off the ground. <laughs> I 
Yeah, look at that. And I can't rewind. Okay, I've got something to have to say of that. That was a long, old way on two wheels. I'm amazed at that land. I mean, it has a lot of downforce, honestly, but that was impressive. Another thing I like about this game is how you buy, is how these career modes play out. It's called simulation mode. We have a dyno, we have uh, modifications, maintenance, and stuff like that. We have your, get your license, you have upgrade shop, you have your home, you're racing. And we have a car dealer. We're going to look at the car dealer here because I want to show you a few vehicles that I think need to be pointed out. First off, they have Di Di Hots. I don't know how to pronounce that. They have uh, this. Look at it! It is so bland. <laughs> or they have this. The same vehicle, but it looks like Fast and Furious got to it first. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Not, you don't see that in very many racing games. Then, we head over to this, not that, uh, yeah, yeah, this. They have all sorts of Toyotas, including very slow ones. They have a Lexus for some reason. <laughs> um, Celica, Supra, Supra, ignore the rally cars for a bit. We have that thing at 1.25. They, they have an LMP car, or basically a, sorry, a GT1 car. So, that's impressive. And uh, over here, we have a uh, large variety of Skylines and Sylvia's. A, a very large variety. We have, we have the GTR. That was not in Forza until Horizon 3. So, pretty good showing on that, you see? We have a uh, GT1 race car. There's another one. Because this was when G LMP, well, LMP didn't even exist back then. However, the crown jewel of the mine, you might see in the top, in the right hand corner. We well, yeah, have, not this, this is not the crown jewel. <laughs> but it is uh, another very cool little, um, thing. Kind of like a cube, but faster. We have Savannah RX-7, lots of RX-7s actually. And then we have this. They have a 787B in the game. Unfortunately, I can't drive it because it's not unlocked. Which is disappointing, I want to be able to have control of it. Let me go down to it's Italy, I believe. Me? No, it's not Italy. It's uh, I'm looking at all the names. Yes, it's this one. UK. We have TVR. We have the Griff 500, the Tuscan Speed 6, which looks very interesting. Look at it. in bright purple, in reflex purple. However. The crown jewel of them all. The Speed 12. The car so dangerous, they never made it into a production car. A spec it. Now they say, this thing only has 799 horsepower. However, the Speed 12 broke the dyno at TVR. Which was a thousand, a thousand, uh, what? A, yeah, 1,000 horsepower dyno. And it broke it. So no one knows true horsepower figures. And finally, from our boys in Australia, we have a Ford Falcon um, V8 supercar, really old V8 supercar. Look at it. Is that not awesome? You can tell it's a V8 supercar because it has 600 horsepower, naturally aspirated V8. That's very good. So yeah, that was Carlos. I thought those were worth a mention because pretty impressive. Um, there is a little bit of Ford. There's a Mustang, an Escort, another Escort, or another Focus, sorry, and a GT40. Oh, it's good. Dodge has a really old logo, and all they have is a Viper. That's it. Now, I did actually see that race car. Pretty good race car. And all they have is the Mighty PT Cruiser. Yes, I actually own one of those. That's my career car, because, you know, it's PT Cruiser. We have the latest model, Camaro. So, yeah. I thought that was worth a mention. Now let's get back to the uh, racing aspect of this racing video game. Alright, we are going oval racing in an Alfa Romeo 156 V6 24 valve. Oh, 
I did not know we had a drift event that you do. I might have to try that out. This is the slowest class of car you can have, C class. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna do some oval racing. Have some good fun, hopefully. You can only have six opponents, though. Here we go. Time for some oval racing. Uh, once again, this is a fictional track. And there's already some bumping. Good job, guys. I'm gonna go to this camera. Oh, but the oval is the opal? The, um, I just forgot the name. The, a bar. The Alpha, I will remember it eventually. It's the Alpha Romeo. I will remember it's the Alpha Romeo eventually. Get in the slipstream. Get in the slipstream. Those moon turbines aren't working very well now, are they? How's yeah, the damage is, um, non-existent, unfortunately. And the AIs are, uh, a little, I would say on a track. They're on a train track, basically. Of course, we are having some, uh, good speed up here. 115. Chuck in the corner. Uh-oh. Oh, we're oh, running too wide. Uh, that's not good. Getting a little too much speed. However, we carry all of the speed on the exit. Hopefully. Yes. Look at the speed of the mighty Alfa Romeo. We're going three wide into this corner. I am wibble wobbling all over this place. Make the car, we have maintained the position. Oh, never mind, never mind. We have, it looks to be a Mercedes on the inside. I, I'm not giving you room. This is NASCAR after all. This is NASCAR 2001 style. Come on. I'm not going to get overtaken by a Celica. Go, mighty Alfa Romeo, go! Use all of that V6 Fury. Oh, sorry, that was, that, was a weird, that was a weird collision, that wasn't it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Catch up to that guy up ahead. I don't know what he's driving because the graphics are, aren't quite good enough for you to clearly tell. I carried a lot of speed out of that corner. Get in the slipstream. We are on a lap number three. So that is indeed a Mercedes up ahead, based on that white picture card. Even though the car up there is silver, not white, but whatever. Maybe the rendering will get better once we get in there. Come on. Uh, I guess it is white. It's, it looks silver from far away. Okay. Come on. Come on, Alfa Romeo. Catch up to him. Catch up to him. We're losing. I say we're losing the competition. We're not really losing the competition that much. <laughs> However, um... I will say this track has the longest pit entrance and exit I have ever seen. The pit entrance begins at the end of the at the beginning of the back straightaway and ends at the end. You have to go the entire lap in the pits. If you ever have to go in the pits in this game, you will lose. Dramatically lose. Apparently there are a lot more tracks in the game than just this quantity, but I guess I haven't unlocked them yet. Because the career is rather difficult. I'll say rather difficult. I haven't played too much of it. Played by a few races. Very difficult, I would just say. Those few races. Come on, I have one more lap to get this guy. Come on. Come on! Move, Alfred. Well, we're kind of at a stalemate now, aren't we? Come on. Carry the speed. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Go! Can I get a good run on him? Maybe. I, I know I'm pushing you real hard out for a man, but come on, we got one more lap. He's seven tenths of a second up. Come on. Carry the speed. I am closing a little bit. I might run out of time. I'm, I'm gonna go for it on the inside though. We might get up if I can, hopefully. Come on! It's all gonna come down. I don't think we're gonna make it unless we get a phenomenal run off this corner. So go high, cut in, run off the gas ever so slowly. Now carry the speed around here. Come on. Carry it, carry it, carry it. Come on! Oh, it's gonna be close. Come on! I have a better run. No! Not enough speed. No! I will, if one more lap, I would have gotten him. Ah. Ah, oh, and, and he over, I overtake him on the f next corner. Ah. Two ten I closed five tenths of a second on that last lap. That was impressive. 
You see, one more lap and I would have got him. One more lap. That's... I'm a little... I'm, I'm slightly unhappy, but it was still a good old race. In some not exactly um, fast cars. Now, you may lo me mo logic me thinking, well, why is there a rally car in this game when it's a circuit track? Well, you're in for a surprise then. Because this is the only circuit-based racing game I've ever seen to include dirt racing. Yes, Forza, eat your heart out. We have full-on circuit racing off-road. We only have two guys, we only have me and someone else, however. We have full-on proper jumps on an actual track, unlike Ford, so we don't have to make up our own track in order to go off-road, <coughs> VIR. However, look at the airtime we're about to get in these things. Look at that! And then we, go, we have mixed surfaces. In a game from 2001, we have mixed surface racing in Lancer Evo rally cars. Now, unfortunately, we can't race the rally cars on the tarmac, and we can't race the tarmac race cars on the rally stages. However, I mean, look at this. Two Mitsubishi Evos duking it out on the dirt in 2001. Forza came out in 2005. Um, the fact that anyone bought Forza at the time was incredible because this game is amazing. <laughs> and Forza really needs to say, hey, we should do this. And like, look at this. It's incredible. I can see why the reviews are so good on this game because the racing is exquisite. It can be incredibly difficult, however, the racing is exquisite, and yeah, the AIs do tend to follow a path and stick to that path. But, you know, they're still decent, they don't really have, they're... I would say they're on par with Project Cars too. that's what I would say they are. And I have pulled a quail lead on this guy, but look at the airtime we get. Oh, that's not to break out. Uh-oh, spawn it. Well, that's a good job, mate. You, you just bumped in the back of me. And by... You, you just crashed. Alright. I, I am used to having that button as the camera, as like the brake or... Handbrake. Yeah, I, think I, I use that as handbrake, I think. I'm trying to remember now. I don't remember. Huh. Funnily enough. But, we have regained the lead. Now... There is a glitch where you are not a glitch, a cheat code. There just does have three cheat codes where um, you can increase the driver difficulty. Oh, that was close. We have four laps of uh, rally racing here. I'm all over the road. Proper rally driver. Haven't quite rolled it like the Dodge, but you know, whatever. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on. We're gonna get a little more air time here. By a little, I mean a lot more. And I love the fact that aerodynamics actually works. Still can't get that corner right. Just putting that out there. Slide around. Is he gonna get a better run? Not really. The Evos are pretty even. I'm not sure if he's in the prototype. Of this, because I'm in the non-prototype, he might be in the prototype, we have slightly different front bumpers. But, I don't know. Yeah, this is, I, I quite like this game. Yeah, I think he is indeed in the prototype, so. We're just going to finish this off, hopefully win this race, we should be able to. And, uh, yeah, we're going to finish this off with some... Good old fashioned rally racing. Slide through these corners. Don't hit that, don't hit that, don't hit that, don't hit that. We're gonna hit that instead. Not sure if that's any better. Here comes, uh. Was it the Russian guy? I don't remember who raced these, who raced the Mitsubishi in, um, real life. I know this is a real life car. Oh, no. Go, 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 go. We have one more map. Come on. 
We're going to have another spectacular jump across the uh, big jump coming up here because we're going to be relatively close to each other. So, here we go. Look at that airtime. It is just immense. And you actually have less grip on the dirt, which is even, impress even more impressive because you notice we don't really slide very much on, on the tarmac. But when we get the dirt, we are just going everywhere. And we are uh, going to go too wide into this corner in sideways rally cars. He will back out. I will take that position. Kind of, um, I'm doing a Kimi Raikkonen. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm pushing the boundaries of the track limits. Okay, that's what I'm doing. So let's just head up here on the final lap. Don't bend into the wall. I, I, I clipped the wall. It's fine. It's fine. I didn't have any major problems. And there we go. Final lap. Oh, God, he's coming up close. That's close to the wall. That's like Jim Conn almost. Again, we have another very cool jump, hopefully. He is. Oh! So that was the finish line. Okay, I thought the finish line was earlier. I was. Okay, that was close. <laughs> One tenth of a stay. Yeah, he wasn't the rally car prototype. So, that is um, Gran Turismo 3. It is a ton of fun. That does going to be it for this episode of. Or, of course, uh, Gran Turismo 3, and I'm back with more. Oh, I won something! Yay!